We are about a month and a half from the start of the football season, so now is the time to start drafting your fantasy football team. And joining us now with tips and a preview of what the cards need to do to get back to the Super Bowl. Jeff, you know him, you love him from fantasyfootballstarters.com. Always great to have you. Thank you, Carrie. Let's get down to business, shall we? Yeah. Kurt Warner, talk to me. Can he well, make it happen what. again? Yes, he can. And we're actually, I think the Cardinals are built to win the NFC West again. And it starts at the quarterback position. You know, Kurt Warner was courting another team in the offseason, but they signed him. And I think he's going to have a fantastic year. We're predicting him to throw for like almost 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns. And then who's he going to be throwing the ball to? Fitz. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden. It all starts with Fitzgerald. He's going to be uh, another great fantasy football pick, probably the best wide receiver in the NFL right now. Maybe 1,400 yards, we're predicting, maybe 13 touchdowns. And then Anquan Bolden as well on the other side, of the, on the other side, and he's going to probably do maybe 1,000, 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns. But is there still this push-pull going on with Anquan about whether or not he really wants to be here? Good point. You know, Ken Wisenhunt actually told the media yesterday that he's very optimistic that they're going to get him back in camp. And I think with everything that went on, you know, there hasn't been a lot of distractions in the offseason. Anquan Bolden should have a real good year, and I think they're going to have him this year. You seem very confident. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Beanie Wells. Beanie Wells. Now, last year we had the quarterback competition. This year, Beanie Wells was drafted by the Cardinals coming in, drafted out of Ohio State. He's going to compete with Tim Hightower for that running back spot. And I think there's going to be good competition there. Whichever running back starts, probably going to get 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns now, for the season. Now, he had suffered some significant injuries, right? Mm, he had a couple in college, but, um, you know, he fell to the Cardinals in the draft. And he's going to be vying for a good job with Tim Hightower. He looks good and healthy. Yep, he does. All right, let's talk about the Cardinals' defense. Oh. It's one of the areas where we struggle, but they put a lot of time and energy into sort of revamping the defense and, and thinking about the philosophy. Yeah, it's a good point, Carrie. You know, they've got veterans at every position of power. You've got the defensive line. You've got Darnell Dockett. You've got the linebacking core, and you've got Carlos Dansby. And then you've got Adrian Wilson in the secondary. So look for the Cardinals to be a top-10 defense this year. Now, we all know that every team is going to be coming after the Cardinals. There's not going to be any surprise, but the defense is strong and they're going to be solid this year, especially well, now the that the cards have earned respect on national stage. It's definitely a different ball game for them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're going to be the hunted now, and this is something that has never happened to them before. So that's what makes it exciting. And if you're going up to camp next week when it starts, it's going to be real exciting. Good competition. All right, a couple more points. We want to jam through Seattle and Matt Hasselbeck. Yeah, Seattle is going to be a strong second. You know, Matt Hasselbeck was hurt last year. He's coming back. He'll also be a good fantasy football sleeper at the quarterback position, but we think they're going to come second this year. And then third, probably looking at San Francisco, the 49ers. Uh, they, have, they're, they're, they have more of a quarterback quandary between Alex Smith and um, Sean Hill. Mm -hmm. But look for the 49ers to probably play that third third spot. Sean Hill's, uh, you know, Alex Smith is str struggling. Sean Hill gets them to win. They'll probably come in third. And then the Rams, you know, they've got a new head coach, the, the defensive coordinator from the New York Giants. Look for the Rams to make more of a switch to defense, a defensive focus. They still have Steven Jackson, though, so he'll be a real good running back pickup, probably in the second or third round of your fantasy Those football draft. Those are your draft. sleeper picks. That's a couple of them right there, Carrie. All right, and you have a trivia question, I understand. Yeah, we have a gift card I'm giveaway. I'm horrible at trivia, so I hope this isn't directed at me. This is an easy one. <laughs> Which Arizona Cardinal football player was the scored the most fantasy points last year? Okay. If you email Jeff at fantasyfootballstarters.com, which Arizona Cardinal player had the most fantasy points, you'll win that $25 gift card, tools, games, and magazines. All right, gift card and uh, picks, and you guys have got it all, fantasyfootballstarters.com. I'm loving it because when I see you back in the studio, that means football season has arrived yet again. You got it, I'm Carrie. on board, and you guys taught me so much about fantasy football yes, last year. I'm ready to show my skills All now. All right. Jeff, thank you so much. Always great to see you. We're